it is like getting healthy and connecting to nature and connecting to god and like learning about yourself like it is all of those things are so incredibly simple but the problem is that our entire lives or my entire life i have been indoctrinated to live my life far away from those simple principles like like i really have a habit of just like being really hard on myself in general and i had a bit of a release tonight and i guess the past few months i have been really hard on myself like i have these goals that i'm trying to accomplish um like the same goals that i have been laying out in my previous videos um all health oriented and i just like i have this vision of myself being just like healthy and happy and the thing is is in my head i know how to get there but it's just like easier said than done right so it's like i've been working on myself for years the past probably like eight months now have been fully dedicated to me working on myself before that i was always like either in school or I was working full-time but the past eight months I've been barely working at all and like my goal has just been to heal physically and emotionally and I was reflecting tonight because I sent an email to this healing center in Costa Rica um, because I'm considering going and like going on an extended retreat where somewhere where i can get help and be supported because i have this very strong mentality that i can do everything myself so i have these health issues not like chronic um but I have health issues that I want to overcome and I do my research and I know how to do it so I, I like, I'm always telling myself like why pay somebody else to do something if I can do it myself like I'm all about doing things myself um, but focusing so narrowly on my health the past eight months has been a struggle like it's been really intense and don't get me wrong like i've made a lot of progress both physically and emotionally like i'm not i really thought that i would be further along than i am now i thought i would be way further along um because I set my bar so high logically I know what to do to heal and get better but I just I set these unrealistic plans for myself like like I'm like oh like oh yeah like I'll, it'll just take like two or three months and I just need to stick to this really rigid plan which like in my mind it's simple because it is simple like healing is simple and that's the thing is is healing is so simple it is like getting healthy and connecting to nature and connecting to god and like learning about yourself like it is all of those things are so incredibly simple but the problem is that our entire lives or my entire life i have been indoctrinated to live my life 
far away from those simple prin principles. Like, I have had to unlearn so much. Like, I have all of these habits. I mean, I'm 28 years old. And I started on this journey. I mean, it really started when I went vegan, which was like six, a little over six years ago. Um, but seriously, it, it was really when I got into raw foods that I started understanding like this different way of living and it is it's a completely different way of living and it's it's odd to think about it because I'm living it right now and it can be a struggle at times but it just seems so right and so obvious that I could never ever ever dream of living any other way but it requires me to live differently than I've ever lived before and differently from the majority of my friends and family and I think that is a big thing that I forget when I set out these plans for myself. And I guess the point, the reason that I kind of felt like recording this is because I was writing to this retreat center and I was kind of summarizing my story of what I've been going through the past eight months and telling them like I tried to do this like I tried to my, I wanted to go travel Latin America and I went to Mexico and and I wanted to to go so that I could heal and then I was you know on a road trip throughout the states and trying to just like learn and heal and and heal through connecting and meeting new people and then I decided to come to Arizona so that I could just like focus really narrowly on on my physical health and I feel like I just keep failing like that's kind of how I've been feeling lately like I'm motivated to keep going always always like there's never I will never look back I'm gonna always keep pushing forward there is no not like an ounce of doubt in my mind about that but I feel like I set these plans out for myself again and again and again and I always end up on them for a little while and then I fall back into some old habits and then I get back on and then I fall off and then I get back on and then I fall off and in the beginning I was like, okay, I just need to stay on this rigid plan for like two, three, maybe four months and then I'm going to get the results that I'm looking for and it's going to be awesome and I'm going to move on with my life because this is what I'm doing right now. Like, this time is time that I've set aside for myself to work on myself and that's what I'm doing. And then when I keep getting on and falling off, getting on and falling off and now I'm definitely ahead but I'm not where I thought I would be. I get down on myself. I get down on myself and it wasn't until I wrote to that retreat center and I told them that like I have these health issues, like I'm trying to I'm trying to balance out my candida overgrowth and I'm trying to get past these emotional blocks that I have and trying to accept myself and understand what I want out of this life and it wasn't until I wrote it all out today that I took a step out of myself and I realized how far I've actually come because like I was saying before I'm living a life right now that is so different from the one that I was taught to live for the majority of my life and I was just reflecting on the fact that like I, I mean I went to college I have a four-year degree but when it comes to living and being healthy and creating a life for myself that I really want 
I took my education into my own hands. Like, I have taught myself so much. Like, I have taught myself so much about health and nutrition and detoxification and the body and just what it is to live a connected, fulfilling life. And I've implemented these things into my life and I've changed my life. I've completely changed my life and I've completely changed myself. And I'm not where I want to be, but I've come so, so far. And I just wanted to record this because I do come down on myself so hard. Like, I'm so hard on myself and I, like, I really feel like, I just feel like I fail so many times and when I fail, like, I really beat myself up sometimes. Like, I'm like, why can't I just stick to this plan? Like, why can't I just stay on track? Like, why do I keep falling off? But like, the reality is, is that I've come so far and I just wanted to share that because I think that that's so real like there's so many people who are on this journey with me who just want to live a life of health and connection and simplicity and I guess I just want to acknowledge the fact that the path that we're on is hard like we are going against the grain as simple as the concepts are and that's what makes the concepts so right and so obvious and makes me want to stay on track so bad is because they are so simple and so obvious but it's just the opposite it's the opposite life that we were taught to live so I just want to acknowledge everything that I've done so far um, all of the progress that I've made physically and emotionally, I'm not where I want to be. I have a long way to go. But I think I've, I've, I know that I've crossed, I've crossed a hump. Like, I've educated myself and I know, I know what I'm doing now. I know what I'm doing. I know what is right. I feel what is right inside of my heart and I know I'm on the right track. So now it's just a matter of pushing myself forward on this track and getting to where I want to be. And I'm really excited for this um, retreat center that I reached out to. I'm really interested to see what's going to come of it. If I end up going or if I, if I don't, um, either way, I like... I think it's really okay for me to have reached out for help. Like, I think that's so necessary. Like, I think it was a little naive of me to think that I could just do this all on my own. And I know that I can do it on my own, but if I'm willing to invest in my health, I just think that could take me so much further. Like being in an environment that supports health and happiness and meeting other people who are on the same journey as me and getting guidance from them so that I'm not doing this on my own because it can be a very lonely path, a very lonely journey. But, yeah. So if you are one of those people who you're on a path of health and you're watching YouTube videos and you are resonating with the messages that you're coming across and you have this plan for yourself and I'm, you're like, yeah, I'm going to go raw and I'm going to start working out every day and I'm going to get healthy and I'm going to lose weight and I'm going to feel good, but you just keep falling off. Like, just know that you are on the right track. You are so on the right track and you're gonna fall off. I've fallen off so many times. Like I've been trying to be raw for like 
three years, probably like three and a half years now. And I'm in a really good place now, but I'm still not perfect and I'm still, I'm still learning. And I think it's like now I'm in the fun part, right? Like I get the concepts, I get the knowledge behind it, but now it's applying it to me and seeing how my body and my emotions do when I try these different styles of living out. And that's definitely the most difficult part, but it's the most fun part too and it's the most rewarding because I'm learning about myself. So yeah, like if you're on this journey with me and you are just looking to be happy and healthy and radiant and connected, just know that you are so on the right track and it can be hard and bumpy um but like we're doing it like this is the truth this is the way the way to go like it's just the it's just the way to go like i feel so strongly as many times as, I, as i've messed up and as much of a roller coaster as this has been i just feel so strongly that this is it like this is it <laughs> yeah that was what I was feeling. Thanks for watching.